right, so here is the perennial heavyweight contender, former K-1 World Grand Prix champion Alistair Overeem in D.C. It's sort of hard to tell an effective history of heavyweights in MMA without coming across the name The Ring. Yes, because he's been a champion in every organization he's ever fought. As you said, K-1, Dream Champion, Strike Force Champion, has not held the UFC title, but has competed for it before in his career and will be looking to earn another chance at the championship. High-level striker, but the one thing that is overlooked when you think of Alistair Overeem is that great guillotine choke that he has that he's finished a number of opponents with. of Alistair Overeem has stepped into the octagon. This time, he wants to leave with that championship belt. With much fanfare, here he is, Michael Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This is as good as it gets, champ. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, it is what our childhood was made of. Watching Mike Tyson with that stare, with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel, the black shorts, and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana, we look up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white towel. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Mike Tyson, he is ready to go. So are we for our main event. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. If it was the most fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alistair the Reed Overeem. And now, if you see the champion fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending. UFC Heavyweight Champion of the World, Mike Tyson! Herb Dean, third Three man fights. in the octagon Ready. tonight. Three. All right, so Alistair Overeem getting another big fight tonight, and one that maybe he didn't expect to come down the pike after much fanfare, Iron Mike Tyson indeed crossing into the octagon tonight. He's crossing into the octagon against a Dutch machine in Alistair Overeem. My question in regards to this matchup is how does Tyson close the distance without eating too many knees from Alistair Overeem? Tyson has got to stay off the center line. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you get the night, that will land it right on the spot. Striking on point tonight, and as evidence, swelling now. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Oh, is that a massive knee to the head? Could be in trouble here. Oh! Back and forth we go, and early on, these guys getting after it. They told us it would be fun, and so far, they've delivered. Oh! Defense. 
Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Stuff the takedown, no problem. He does a great job getting out of that position. How about that strike over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Beautiful combination. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yes? Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's ripe for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> well, you got to think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Takedown defense holds up. Nice punch from the clinch by Tyson. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. So 130 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Oh, round two straight ahead. All right, there's the end of the round. I'm looking over to my left, UFC President Dana White. I think he's making out the bonus check right now. Incredible back and forth action. Sign the check, boss. These two young men deserve 50,000. Hell, let's give them each 100,000 for the performance that they just put on in one round. Both were hurt. Both were able to withstand the punishment, and I can't wait until the next round gets started. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does ready. have that ability. Ready. All right, round two. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, good block there. See what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. It's a half yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And, hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that opportunity. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been injured. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, beautiful level change. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by the ring. Now he's going full mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. 
Well, at this point, hard to blame him for headhunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. Overeem's in half goal. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. Oh, good work with the jab there. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, look at that right hand there. Nice job by him defensively there. Kicks. Well, you don't want to take too many kicks. Oh, this guy's blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Looks like the referee could step in here. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. Fight no, back. it ain't happening. Back. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, interesting there is he just decides to let him back up. Oh, that's it! Oh, my gosh! What an absolute freak of a knockout here tonight. That's a three-check knockout, right? Show money, win money, bonus money. Absolutely, J.A. There's nothing more exciting than a knockout in sports. You don't see it anywhere but mixed martial arts. This young man will celebrate this deep into the night as he should. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 32 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Who would have thought that the former boxing champion Iron Mike Tyson would become a bona fide UFC contender? This win tonight is certainly a step in the right direction. He had a lot of doubters and naysayers coming into this one, but Mike Tyson gets his hand raised, and it seems like no matter the sport, no matter the combat setting, when the...